Hello, and welcome to my presentation. My name is Max Rubis, and I will be talking about how short and repeat mutations regulate gene expression in colorectal cancer. So short tandem repeats, also known as microsatellites, are repetitive regions made up of one to six base pair repeat units. They are prevalent in the human genome and occur both in coding and non-coding regions. STRs are highly mutable, especially insertion and deletion mutations are very common in STRs, and these typically result in one or more repeat units being inserted or deleted from the STR. So this leads to copy number variation at SCRs. This SCR copy number variation at specific loci has been linked to gene expression regulation under physiological conditions. And SCRs for which the copy number is associated to gene expression are called expression SCRs, or ESCRs for short. However, it is currently unclear what the role of ESCRs in colorectal cancer are and whether mutations at ESCRs can regulate gene expression in tumors. So we set out to investigate this with our main aim being to identify expression SCRs in colorectal cancer. We performed our analysis on sequencing and gene expression data for colorectal cancer tumors taken from the Cancer Genome Atlas. Um, in this data, we looked for linear associations between STR copy numbers and gene expression for many pairs of STR and gene. And for 1,289 of these STR gene pairs, we found a significant association between the STR copy number and gene expression. So these are our ESTRs. And for 70 of these genes, there was actually um, were listed in the COSMIC database as being related to cancer. As an example of an ESTR, I'm showing here the association we found between the copy number of one particular short tandem repeat, which is listed along the x-axis, and the expression of the SMAT4 tumor suppressor gene across all our tumor samples. So now that we have these ESTR associations, we wanted to see if we could use them to predict gene expression changes in a separate data set. And to investigate this, we looked for ESTR mutations in a separate set of colorectal cancer tumors, also taken from the Cancer Genome Atlas, for which we also had patient-matched healthy samples available. And our hypothesis was that the ESTR associations we found previously should be able to predict gene expression changes in response to ESTR mutations. So going back to our SMAT4 example, if we were to find a patient where the ESTR copy number has increased in the tumor sample compared to the healthy sample, so in this patient, for example, the copy number of the ESTR is higher in the tumor than in the healthy sample, this ESTR association that we previously found between um, the copy number of this STR and SMAT4 expression would predict that SMAT4 expression should be lower in the tumor sample. So this is what we wanted to test, to see if the ESTR associations could actually be used to make these kinds of predictions. So first, we identified ESTR mutations in our validation set, and we found 1584 of such mutations. For 66.7% of these mutations, the ECR association correctly predicted whether gene expression would increase or decrease in the tumor sample, which was significantly better than random models. Furthermore, we hypothesized that mutations at ESCRs with a strong association to gene expression, or mutations resulting in a large copy number difference, should have a larger impact on gene expression in tumors. In theory, this larger difference in gene expression should be more readily detectable and lead to better prediction accuracy. So we assigned an expected mutation impact to each um, ESCR mutation based on the association strength and copy number difference for that mutation. And indeed, what we found is that for ESCR mutations with higher expected impact, the prediction accuracy was higher, which fits with the idea that these mutations result in bigger changes in gene expression, which should be more easily detectable and thus uh, lead to better prediction accuracy. 
This is also what is shown in this histogram, which contains data from all 1584 ECR mutations that we found in our validation set. And here, the mutations were binned based on the expected mutation impact, and these bins are shown in this histogram, where every bin is colored based on the prediction accuracy of the ESCR mutations for that bin. What we see is that for the bins with a higher expected impact, the prediction accuracy also tends to be higher. So to conclude, we found that SCR mutations can regulate gene expression in colorectal cancer. Um, and this is a largely unexplored way through which tumors may reprogram their phenotypes. So future studies of ESTRs in larger cohorts and other cancer types could increase our understanding of cancer and may eventually lead to novel targets for therapy. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any further questions or comments, please come find me at the conference or contact me via email or Twitter. I would be happy to discuss further. Thank you.